So you have a jealous friend, somebody that you walked away from. This person thought it would be easy for them to like ruin your character. Um, and they've ruined their own character because whoever this person is, this is someone that's like an impersonator. This person was copying you. They could have been trying to look like you, act like you. And they thought they were going to create a whole bunch of drama around you, negativity. And people would view them how they view you and you how other people view them. And it just did not end well. Like somebody is pressed because you chose to isolate. You chose to focus on yourself. It's like you've removed yourself from negativity. And if this was someone that was negative, they only called you to drain you or they came around you with a lot of negativity. Um, once you isolated, this person started stalking you, being obsessed with your life. And this is because you put your energy back. Yeah, this was somebody that was definitely a fake friend. This is the type of person that will smile in your face and stab you in the back. And I'm getting this person was always this person. Um, you knew this about this person and this, this is what made you like pull your energy back. This is someone who just was not going to change. And you weren't going to keep giving that person the benefit of the doubt. You just walked away. This could be someone that you were attached to for a long time. Yeah. Now, this person was stalking and spying on you to see if you've gotten in another relationship. Has someone came towards you with a love offer? Yeah. So maybe they thought somebody was coming toward you or they knew somebody that wanted to come toward you and they felt like if they could ruin your reputation, um, that person would not come toward you. Yeah, this is someone that likes to... Um, this is just a fake person. This is someone who likes to floss. They like to... You know, they want people to feel as if they have it all. They got a lot of money. But people are realizing that this person is like a fake flexor. Yeah, and they've created a lot of bad karma. Because if this person is like showing off, making it seem as if they have this or have that, while they're watching you, other people could be watching them. Plotting and planning on them. And this is the type of karma that they have manifested in their life. All because they didn't want to see you shine. Your light irritates this person's darkness. Yeah. And it's like whatever attention they were trying to get from different people, they weren't interested in this person. If they were trying to get whoever the person is that they felt like was coming towards you to be attracted to them, that person was not interested in them. Yeah, this was a karmic friend that talked a whole bunch of S-H-I-T. <laughs> wow, this is somebody that you just could not fully trust. Um, even though you have been knowing this person for a long time, as I say, you knew this person was someone that was like secretly in competition with you. You knew that this person talked about you behind your back, smiled in your face. Yeah. And it's like you weren't you weren't going to allow that person to continue to play in your energy. Now somebody got some evidence on this person. Wow. Some type of addiction that this person has. They don't know that it's like evidence. Somebody have been getting proof on this person. I'm so dumb. Like this could be someone that they're attached to and they don't know it's a fake friend. If they're hanging around this person, talking to this person. 
the same thing that they were trying to do to you, this person is doing to them. And they, they, they don't know that this is a fake friend. Like this person have been taking photos of them. They could see this person doing drugs. Or they've captured different pictures of this person doing a lot. And they don't know this. They're too focused on you. They're too busy watching and stalking you. Yeah. I'm so, so it's like. If this person was trying to get multiple people to believe that they had a lot of money, they had it all put together. People are looking at this person as someone that's broke. Wow. This is sad. And it's like if this person thought that they were going to come around you, soak up information about you, take it to other people, talk about you behind your back, defame your character, um, they would do the same thing, come around you and talk about people in a negative way. And you didn't want anything else to do with this person. Like this person, somebody, this, this fake friend is learning a major lesson. Yeah, you have a toxic ex who tried to use a child or children to keep you stuck. Aquarius is here. You could be an Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. Yeah, there's someone that's very immature. So they could have, they could have teamed up with an ex. Whoever this fake friend is, this person could have teamed up with an ex to try to go against you to have you stuck. Yeah, they didn't like the fact that you're at peace. This is someone who does not like that you're a good person. And this could be someone who was also upset about your health. You could be someone that's healthy and they're not. You take care of yourself. You take care of your body. You don't just sleep with anybody. Yeah, I'm hearing physical, mental, and sexual health. You're healthy and they're upset. Because of how positive you are. I'm getting the, the first time you met this person. Um, they didn't like you, but you didn't know. This could be someone who... They felt drawn to you because they just wanted to be in your energy. They felt like it would be a good look for them because you're someone that's very positive, very motivating. Maybe they felt like their energy would rub off on you and it didn't work. And then you expose some type of truth and clarity about this person or you found out something about this person. Yeah, and it's like they were out for revenge because of something that you said. Something they felt like you shouldn't have said or found out, take it where it resonates. Because they had somebody confused in a toxic cycle. So this could have been another friend of theirs that they were attached to. They're finding out something that you said or exposed about this person is true. Or this could have been a lover, someone that they were in a connection with. They're finding out that this person is fake. Everything about this person is fake. And they could feel like ever since they met this person, they've been going through bad karma. Yeah, we have Taurus. You could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. Yeah, the plan was to sit back and watch you suffer. Wow. 
So this person teamed up with an ex to create an injustice legal matter. And this was a case that was involving children. Both of these people are emotionally immature. And they don't like the fact that you're someone that's mature. You have put your energy back. Somebody thought this was revenge on you or this was going to hurt you. Yeah. This is someone who teamed up with an ex. Now, this says a family member teamed up with an ex. This person could be attached to someone that's a family member of yours because I was getting a karmic friend. So if this is someone that you've been knowing for a long time and they're like family, that could be one thing or they could be attached to a family member and you met them through a family member. You became friends with them through a family member. But you walked away from that person once you've seen that person for who they truly are. And they're pissed. Yeah, you have the sun. So whatever this legal situation was that they created, there was a positive outcome for you. Something turned out in your favor with the sun being here. Yeah, you have the four of wands. If this was a situation where there was a battle between you and the ex and somebody, that person was trying to take your child or children from you, your kids could have gotten took. You got your kids back. These are people that don't care about your kids. Whoever the person is that you have a child with and this fake friend. They didn't care about your kids. These are people that wanted to hurt you because they were hurt when you put your energy back. And you chose to just focus on yourself. Now, if they're going through bad karma after they did this to you. They did not know with the world being here that you were their karma. Everything that they did to you was only going to backfire onto them. And it was supposed to happen this way, but they could not see. They didn't have any foresight at the time that they were doing whatever they were doing because they were just thinking, hey, this is easy to get away with. This person would never find out. Other people would never find out. This would ruin this person's reputation. And they'll have something to talk about, defame your character, and people would hold them in high honor or view them um, as someone that was better than you. Yeah. But it's like you're in the spotlight with the star card being here. Yeah. Whatever you're doing in the spotlight, they feel like this was a bad decision. These lies they told, this deception, them getting thinking that they were going to get away with whatever they did to you. This was a bad decision with the three of wands popping out in the reverse because you were still able to move forward. Yeah, and I'm getting this entire time. You've been focusing on your finances with the queen of pentacles being here. You're someone that's stable. So if this was supposed to make you look unstable, they're being seen as someone that's unstable. They're being seen as someone who wants to look as if they have everything put together. Their life is together. If they have kids, their kids are together in an order. This is someone who better hope that they don't be wrapped up in some type of legal situation involving their kids and it be 10 times worse. With this photo proof and this evidence that somebody have been getting on this person, this could already be some type of investigation and they don't know. Like they could be being seen as someone that's unstable. They can't take care of their kids, their home life. And they don't know this because they've been focusing on you.
Yeah, divine intervention. Then you have home. So this person could have lost a home or they just started receiving a lot of karma. A lot of stuff started happening around their um, home life. This could be in their family. Like, this is sad. And people don't think when they do or cause deception for other people that this would backfire on to them and the people that they're attached to. They're not thinking that far. These are the type of people that just act without thinking. They don't use any common sense. Now, whoever this ex is, this person tried to um, this ex got upset because they felt like you were developing feelings for another person or you have romantic feelings for another person. It's like they didn't like the way that you viewed another person with relationship and romantic feelings and then you have date. So this could be someone that you just met or somebody that they felt like you were dating or meeting up with, talking to, communicating with. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, whoever this friend is, if this is someone who knew that you were interested in someone, you could have mentioned something or they just knew. You could have spoke highly of that person and or spoke positive about that person. And they went back towards this ex, kind of lied to that person, told them that you were in a relationship or you were dating this person or something like that. And this, this ex kind of fell for whatever this person told them because they felt like this is someone that you're close to. Yeah. And they got upset because they know that whoever this person is that you could have been in communication with, this could have been some type of date or this could have been just communi- I mean, I keep saying communication. So you were definitely talking to this person, but there could have been some type of meetup with date being here. They knew that that person felt however you felt about them. There's a magnetic attraction between you and this person. Yeah. And they felt like this person was coming towards you with a love offer. Yeah, and it's like they both came together to try to make sure this person does not come towards you with a proposal. And they thought ruining your reputation, creating some type of injustice legal matter, it was going to stop this person from being attracted to you. Whoever this person is, this is someone that you're meant to encounter. This could be your divine counterpart. This could be a soulmate. Take it where it resonates. But yeah, this ex was scared. Scared of you manifesting new love. And it's like, if these two came together to make false accusations in a legal situation, this is why this is why they're being investigated. They've brought an investigation on their self and they don't know. Somebody have been getting a lot of evidence on them. Watching them, taking pictures of them. I'm so done. Yeah. It's like somebody is caught up in a legal situation of their own. This immediately backfired.
So whoever this new person is that's coming toward you, this person already views you as someone that they want to be in a relationship with, like a long-term commitment. Yeah. But they haven't said anything. Silence is here and then you have healing. So this person is going through some type of healing phase. They're healing pain from the past, things that they have went through in life. They've been working hard on letting things go, releasing things that don't serve purpose in their life. But your energy, it gives them hope. Something could have happened where this person ghosted you or they just stopped communicating with you. This could be because there was a lot going on at the time that you were in communication with this person, not only on your end, but on their end as well. But this is someone who is trying to find their way back to you or they're making their way back to you soon. This is someone who wants you to send them love and healing energy as well. Or they can feel your energy around them. They feel the love. This You have inspired this person to heal. You definitely inspired this person to love their self. Yeah, you've inspired this person to mature. You have message of concern. <laughs> this is sad. Because <laughs> it's like whoever these people are, they're in disbelief. They like whatever they said about you was supposed to make this person unattracted to you. Think the worst about you, but you've inspired this person. Yeah, it's like whoever this, this mature man is, they're viewing you as this privileged lady. Yeah, this is someone who holds you in high honor. They respect you. Yeah. And they feel like you took your power back from these people with official person and journey being here and you just moved on in life. These are people that expose their self. It's like they wanted people to think that they were exposing you. Yeah. Now you could be getting ready to receive some good news with unexpected income being here and then message. Yeah, this could be money. Yeah, it's like you're getting ready to receive some type of abundance for moving on from these people. And they're they're under judgment. They're going through karma. These are people that are going to sit back and watch you prosper while going through a lot of negative karma. And they're going to know exactly why they're going through all of this karma that they've manifested for their self, trying to block you off from manifesting love, manifesting abundance, manifesting prosperity, and setting yourself free from things that don't serve purpose. Yeah, it's like God is preparing a table for you in the presence of whoever these people are. Because these are people that were fake, wolf in sheep clothing. People that you could never trust, no matter how long you've been attached to these people or you've known these people. Okay, so this card says prioritize self-healing right now. Put your needs above others. 
for once. It's time to focus on you. Self-healing takes a lot of self-care, self-love. Remember, open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush. So yeah, you decided to prioritize your time um, with a lot of self-healing. And both of these people felt like you were rushing into a relationship or a commitment that they were jealous and envious of. But it's like there was no rush. You weren't focused on that. Your main focus was on you. And this is why you're prospering. This is why you're receiving a lot of abundance. Yeah, I'm hearing in ways that you did not expect. God is blessing you in front of these people. Because you didn't lose sight of the truth. The truth that they showed you to make you walk away from them. This is something that was necessary for you to do in order to evolve, in order to grow. You needed to experience this. Yeah, these are people that are very dark, but there's a light at the end of every dark tunnel. These are people that never expected for you to make it through. <laughs> 